I don't know about you, but I have not recovered yet after the last episode. It was the craziest drama I've ever seen in my YouTube career. The match was crazy. Make sure you guys go and watch the episode before this one if you missed it. Because you cannot miss it, guys. It was the best episode, in my opinion, of the whole series. And today we have the Season 3 finale. Welcome so much if you're still, you know, watching this series. If you've been there since the beginning... That is incredible. I want to hear when you guys started watching this series. Leave a comment down below. Have you been here from episode 1, episode 12, episode 25? For me, it means a lot either way, guys. So, uh, thank you so much just for sticking around here. And we're going to start off today with obviously taking a look at the UCL. Who we're going to be facing in the Champions League final after knocking out our former club, Leverkusen. And we have Manchester City. Yep, that is... Um, I mean, it was going to be either City or Real Madrid. Let's see how it went down. 2-1 on aggregate for City. So, yeah, guys. You know, either of them would have been so difficult. But uh, City... Oof, this is going to be so tough, guys. Obviously, we did beat them a couple times in the league this season. Um, speaking of the league, though. Obviously, we haven't done that well. And even City is currently 6th. So, it's a little bit weird that, you know, we haven't done both of us that well in the league, but somehow we are in the UCL final. That just shows what can happen in these, um, you know, cup competitions. You know, I don't think, it, it, it's, it's pretty much impossible for us to reach top four unless the other teams literally don't win any of their games. We have to win everything um, if we want to have any chances. But as we can see, we've got 33 goals. We just need three more to equal Holland's record, four more goals, and we break it. So we've actually got a lot of big things to play for in these last three Premier League matches. Come on, can we have the first goal? And it's gone in! Perrin is not able to save it. And uh, that is one down, three to go until we break this record, guys. Wow, what a start for us. Gets in there and obviously... We don't want to pick up any injuries or something in these last few games before those finals. So, I think unless I am, um, you know, really want to play, I think we're just going to be playing like one half in these games because it's too risky, you know. Here is uh, Brentford though on uh, the attack. If we can win the ball now. Yes, we have lots of space and we have indeed received it. Can we score goal number 35 with the Trevella and the keeper is literally standing still. What a dream start for us in this game. And there is Brentford. I mean, we always concede in the Premier League. It doesn't matter if we play the bottom team or, or what, but yeah, I mean, that was going to come at some point. So frustrating, guys, what we've done in the league, by the way. And after the comments from the last episode, I think for now we are staying at Arsenal for one more season. Doesn't matter what happens, um, you know, in these last matches. And next season, guys, our main goal has to be the Premier League. No doubt about it. Especially if we can win the FA Cup and the UCL now. Then the only last thing we need is uh, the, the Premier League. And then we have conquered England. But what's going on here? Is that going to be a penalty for Brentford? Let's see. Yes, it is a penalty. And they've got a chance to literally come straight back into it. And, okay, Bruno Schoen has actually saved it. Come on, Sander. Can we get the hat-trick? That would be huge. But I see a teammate back post. And he has scored it. I think it's the first time this guy is playing, by the way. I've never seen him before. But uh, he's a new youngster and he gets his first goal. There's Brentford again, you know. They're not giving up. But uh, come on, Davis, one more chance for me. Ah, uh, that is the end of the first half, so no hat trick for us today. Hopefully, we won't bottle this 3 uh, 1 lead. Surely not. And yes, Arsenal end up winning a 5 3. So uh, that is uh, nice, guys, to finally get a victory again in the Premier League. Feels like it's been years since that uh, happened. So, uh, you know, it is important, guys, to get a lot of rest right now. There's just a couple of matches until we have, you know, two finals coming up, which is crazy. So, you know, you don't want to get injured in these last couple of games. But here we go. Sander, I'm delighted to inform you that I've selected you to join the Norway squad, which will take part 
in the upcoming Men's International Cup, which obviously is the World Cup. Wow, I can't stress enough how important this tournament is for our country. I will hope you agree that this is an honor just to be called up to represent. I expect the very best from you and of course all your teammates should you be selected to play. So yeah, this is obviously something we were talking about uh, in the last episode. Should we play striker and then, you know, get like rotated with Holland? Or should we play as a left midfielder or right midfielder so we can literally play at the same time as Holland? I don't think Holland is able to play any other position than a striker, but I think we are able to do that. So I think at the World Cup, I'm gonna have to look at the formation and talk to the manager, but I think we are gonna be playing, guys, as a left midfielder because, you know, we are originally a left winger. So I think we can, uh, you know, work on that position and play pretty well. And then we'll obviously have Erdegaard on that team, Holland as well. So... Let's see, guys, what Norway can do at the World Cup. But before that, we we have the final matches of the normal season. There we go, Gusto. Important tackles. He's been so good for us, by the way. And all of a sudden, we are through one goal, and we can finish it in to the back of the net, guys. And wow, what a start! Again, an early goal here. And now I believe that is goal number. 35 or 36 for us So oh, have we actually already equaled the record? Let's take a look at the top left and that is indeed 36 goals guys and With this one and one game after if we just score one more goal That means that we have broken the Premier League goal scoring top record in a season To break Holland's record is unbelievable guys And it's now gonna be two Norwegians at the top of that list which is Insane stuff and obviously we already broke Ronaldo's Champions League record this season for most goals We might even get more in the final so Guys are we actually gonna win the Ballon d'Or this season? I feel like we deserve it. I mean who else? I guess maybe Holland could win it if City win the UCL That's obviously important, but Surely if we don't win the Ballon d'Or this season, when are we ever gonna win it? You know? And I guess it kind of the the depends what happens in the World Cup. I mean, that's the most important one this summer. So if we can go far there too. Wow, guys. Come on. The goal to beat the record. And it's gone in. What is the Wolves keeper doing? I really thought he was going to save it. But guys, that is it. We have done it. We beat Holland's record. Smash the like button, man. And there we go, obviously Wolves, we're gonna score at some point, but again, I feel like that is weak from the goalkeeper, he should be taking that. Not the most power and quite a long distance, I just, uh, I don't know, I feel like Ramsdale could have played these games anyway, we don't have to rotate the goalkeepers, you know. He needs to be sharp too for the finals, but... Oh my god, we've just gone past everyone, and... Incredible from Erdegaard. And now we play to Martinelli, who gets a little bit lucky. To center, and... That is... Nah, that's the coldest finish we've ever done. That is the coldest goal we've ever scored. You just don't do that, man. You just don't do that. Give me the Ballon d'Or already. I mean, who else are doing things like this? We are currently on 38 goals, which means we have smashed the record. And you know what would be crazy? If we can get to 40. I think that record would, would stand for years, to be honest. Or maybe until next season when we beat it again. <laughs> no Wolves! And what a save it is this time! From our keeper, that's one of the saves of the season, I think. There we go, Bukayo Saka. And now we have the chance to get goal number 39. Keep running. Do we have the stamina? No, we simply do not. And uh, to be honest, when I'm doing runs like that, I'm a little bit scared to get injured. Imagine getting injured now before the biggest games of our career. The manager is thinking the same thing guys He cannot afford to lose the, the best player of the team ahead of these matches and we end up 
winning 4-2 in the end, so that is all good. And you know what, let's take a quick look at the table, because we have picked up 6 points in the last 2 matches, and maybe some other teams have dropped points. Do we have any chance at all to get top 4? No, we do not, because Leicester has got 71 points with 1 game remaining. The best we can hope for, guys, is 5th this season, if City can lose their last game. And uh, our last game is going to be against Chelsea, which is pretty fun, because... The next game after this is literally at Wembley, the FA Cup final against Chelsea. So this is going to be a bit of a, uh, you know, warm up, I guess, going into that one. So we want to at least finish the Premier League season on a good one, guys. Away to Chelsea. Let's see what happens. But, uh, you know, I really do not want to get injured at this point. Oh, Chelsea with a good start. Ramsdale. He's back in goal and he's making the saves. Raheem Sterling! Can we find anyone in there? Kokchu! What a save! Come on, Sander. This is for goal number 40! And we have done it! And we've absolutely written history with that one! Wow, what a milestone! And you can see the players surrounding us congratulating us for that goal. Never mind, that was number 39, we still need one more. Okay. Chelsea with a good attack! And they have it in scored. Can we get a goal instantly after? Sander for number 40. And Trump saves us again. Come on, there we go. Get to that one, and that is goal number 40. It has actually happened, guys. We reached the milestone. Who is ever going to break this record? I mean, hopefully we can do it next season, guys. But, I mean, 40 goals in your debut Premier League season. That is... That is Ballon d'Or worthy, in my opinion. I mean, what more can I do? There we go. Come on, into Martinelli, and he has got another one. Nice pressure from Arsenal, it's another assist for Sander. I wonder how many goal involvements in total we actually have. Oh, this is incredible from Arsenal. Can we get the fourth and just finish this game? Martinelli gives it back to Sander. Maybe our last touch this season, and it's in the top 90. Thank you and good night, Premier League. We actually end on 41 goals for the season, man. That is unbelievable. And if that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does, guys. We have broken the Premier League record, we have broken the Champions League record. But up next, we've obviously got Chelsea again, this time in a different stadium. It's going to be Wembley final. Um, and yeah, before that, we actually have some stats that we can upgrade and... I want to take a quick look at my dribbling because I believe, yeah, we do not have 5-star skill moves. I want to change that and uh, now we do indeed have it. And, um, you know, we can always upgrade our physical stats a little bit as well. Uh, reactions, yeah, why not? Plus 4. So, in total, guys, we are now a still 87 rated. You know, we're chasing that number 90. I think we started this season at like 83 rating or something. So, we have made a lot of progress. But let's have another good training session then. And also before this game, let me just double check to see everything that happened in the Premier League. Uh, Arsenal end up 6th, you know, which is not a good position. City 5th as well. So, I mean, City and Arsenal are literally going to be not just battling for the UCL trophy, but also for a Champions League spot next season. This final is going to be crazy. United on 94 points, though. What a season they had. But as I said before, we are coming for them next season. We're going to have to do the main focus on the Premier League um, so we can conquer England before we eventually go to a different country. 
But look at this, we are well rested, this is the best team possible. Let's get to Wembley and pick up our second trophy of the season. Oh no, here is Chelsea! And they get an early goal in the FA Cup final! They seem to have turned up much more for this game than the last one. And look at that, what a start for Chelsea. Yes, come on Arsenal, early goal, you gotta play it. Sander, and then Saka! What? Alright, we take it past Enzo. I'm gonna hit this, and again, Sanchez with a good save, and that is not out of play as well. Somehow he's kept it in. Arsenal getting closer though to the equalizer in this game. Look at this. We are winning the midfield battles right now. Ödegård to Davis. Into Sander. Surely. Referee. There is Chelsea on the attack again. But that is good defending. And Ödegård now. Up to Sander. Come on. Take a long touch. And then. Oh. Martinelli. Here is Chelsea again, and this is looking bad! They have made it 2-0 in the FA Cup! Here's Chelsea again, and what a tackle! 3-0, and I think this game is uh, over to be fair. But obviously Arsenal has the most FA Cups in English history. That's why I still believe we can get something out of this game. I'm not going to give up here. Come on, Kokchu. Back to Sander. To Saka. This is better from Arsenal. Saka into Sander and... Sanchez made a huge save. Chelsea get a quarter at the end of this first half. Are they going to be able to finish this game and they beat the post? Okay, so... I mean, we need to... Get an early goal, no doubt about it. We need an early goal and a good team talk if we want to try to win this. That is a good pass from early goal. And here we go. Can we get one? And yes! That is what I'm talking about right there. That is the early goal we needed in the second half. And Arsenal are right back into the game. A corner kick for Chelsea. And Enzo whips it in. Timber clears it away. Can we get there? Yes! Come on again, Ödegård! Come on, boys! Everyone forward, please! Do we have any options? Let's look up. Let's give it to Martin. Kokchu! He's done it! And Arsenal equalize in the FA Cup. And as we can see, we want more. We want to wrap this one up before extra time. What a comeback though from Arsenal in the second half. I knew we could do it, guys. I knew it. And now the pressure is on Chelsea again. Kokchu with a big goal right there. You know what a player he's been for us. And it seems like Chelsea are starting to be a little bit cautious here on the ball. Slowing things down a little bit. Obviously, next fixture is the Champions League final. And it would be so nice to go into that final bit of victory here. Yes. Oh my god, we're playing so good right now. Come on, Sander. To wrap up the FA Cup. Oh. What a save. Okay, we've got a corner though. Where are they going? The Norwegian connection. And we've just hit the post, are you kidding me? We've just hit the post. No, inches away from the winner in the FA Cup. Come on guys, keep pressing here. Force a mistake. Oh, it's so close. How has Chelsea kept this in possession? Let's cross it in. Back posts. 
and that is gonna go all out. No, Kokshu keeps it in play. Oh my god, Gusto whips it in to center. And is that a corner kick or what? No, it's nothing. Chelsea with maybe the last tack of this game. And oh my god, Ramsdale, huge save. And Enzo again, Ramsdale. What a goalkeeper we have. The 90 minutes are up and we are going into extra time. Wow. This is insane, guys. Oh no, here is Chelsea and Kunku. Out of nothing, finishes that near post. And Chelsea are back in the lead. What do we do now, Arsenal? What do we do? Gusto wins. Sander out to Sakocini. Back to Sander. And... Nice pass from Martinelli. Come on. Yes. Sakocini. Back to Sander. And we finish. And Arsenal. Have equalized again! What an FA Cup final this is! One of the craziest ones I've ever seen! Arsenal are not giving up today. That was such a nice attack. We linked up with our teammates. So good, it could not have been better. And somehow we score after Chelsea retake the lead. Oh, this game is absolutely wild. And now the pressure is back on Chelsea again. We have the momentum now, and referee, thank you so much for blowing the whistle there. Chelsea would have been almost a 3-1 goal, but they've got one more extra time to play, and then maybe it's going to end up being another penalty shootout. Insane pressure from Stones. Come on, Jorginho against his former club. Chelsea on the attack now. Are they actually going to be able to get a late one? I don't think so. Here we go, guys. Come on. We don't have any stamina in the tank. And... Oh. Are Chelsea going to get one more chance? No, it is going to go down to a penalty shootout. Back-to-back -back episodes we've had a shootout, guys, and this one is going to be for a very special trophy, so I hope we can, uh, you know, win this one as well. We have been very good in penalty shootouts. Enzo Fernandez with a huge mistake. He's gone with the Panenka, and up next, Jorginho with the technique. It's absolutely beautiful, and now the pressure is on Chelsea, and okay, they've scored the next one. Who's up next? And David, please. Please score it. And... Is it the post, guys? It's even now. And Kunku. Ramsdale. Can we score another one? Yes! Get in there. Another shootout where we score, guys. We're so good on penalties. Gallagher goes with the Panenka. He beats Ramsdale. And then Starboy. Saka up next. He's done it. If we can save it now, that means we have won it. Come on, Ramsdale. Give us this FA Cup trophy. Bowie stepping up for Chelsea. And he has scored it, guys. Who is going to take this next one? It is Alfonso Davis. Come on. Win the trophy. Another one for Arsenal. To write some more history. Davis! Oh my god. We have done it, guys. The FA Cup is returning to Arsenal. And that is our second trophy already this season. What a performance. After going down 2-0 in this final, Arsenal fight back and never give up, guys, until it is over. And, um, yeah, wow, what a final. One of the best FA Cup finals, I think in many many years this one will be remembered forever and now it is time for us to lift this beautiful trophy 
Oh my god, that's another cup added to our, you know, trophy record as well. This one feels so good. And we have won both of the cups in England. So we have done a double, you know, Carabao Cup and FA Cup. Uh, obviously, we're missing the Premier League. That's the last thing we need in England, guys. I want to get the Premier League so much next year. But come on, lift that up in the air. What a moment. But we are not allowed to celebrate for too much because obviously the season is somehow still not done. We have our modern final to play and this one is going to be 10 times bigger than the FA Cup. I mean the Champions League is on its own level. If you win that, you know, th there's no other glory like it. So yeah guys, thank you so much Ramsdale, thank you so much to Davis, everyone who contributed in that game. And there we have Udegoid in the press conference after the match with the manager. So here we go then. Up next, the Champions League final. I don't think Arsenal has been in a Champions League final uh, many times. I think maybe this is going to be the second time in history. And obviously, last time I know that they lost against Barcelona. Arsenal have never won the Champions League. So if we can win the Champions League today, be become the first team that wins it with Arsenal... We will become an Arsenal legend forever, guys. In a thousand years, we will still be remembered. So yeah, this is it. Sander versus Holland, the Norwegian battle. The whole season comes down to this one match. The final is literally being played as well at the Bernabeu, which is a stadium I've never played at. So, wow. The stage could not be bigger, guys. Come on, Sander, score it! And it's in the top net! We take the lead against City at the Santiago Bernabeu. Oh my god, Arsenal are 1-0 up in the final! And... I mean, I've got to calm down a little bit, it's an early goal, we know. But what a start for Arsenal, man. This is insane. Although, we have picked up an injury, guys, in that... Uh, in that coll collision, but... I mean, I think we should be alright. We are still running, so, you know, we can keep playing on here. And here we go, we've gone past Arroyo, even with an injury in the UCL final! Oh my god, it's 2-0! It's two goals for Sander! And Arsenal are flying, even with a bit of an injury. And the Trivela. Wow. But we are holding our shoulder, as you can see. This could be bad because we have World Cup coming on as well. What is City going to do now? That is the question. 2-0 down in the UCL final. I could have never dreamed for a start like this. So far, City has not been a difficult opponent this season for us, man. I think we beat them in the league as well. Look at this. We're flying into Martinelli. And what a block. Oh, referee, come on, that's nothing. Ball on the back post to Arroyo! And what a chance! The Ramsdale is obviously there again. That was basically the first thing City has done in the whole game. But you can never write City off, that would be a bad idea. Barella now. They're gonna get one more chance maybe. Referee, blow the whistle. Referee, blow the whistle. Come on. There we go. All right, we're 2 0 up, guys, at half time. But we still have 45 minutes to play, so. Yeah, we're so close, guys. Let's finish the job now. I don't think it's 
offside and Martinelli with the biggest chance to make it 3-0. City have made a change, Griezmann comes on. This is better from City and Griezmann have made it 2-1 in the UCL final. An instant impact from the substitution. Anderson is absolutely insane when it comes to these uh, goal kicks. Oh no, I don't like where this is going at all. City is a completely different team in the second half. Berbardi dribbling past everyone. Two more Bella. Stones with a huge block. Come on. This is good football from uh, Arsenal now. Saka is not able to play it back to us. And here is City again. Wow, everything changed since Griezmann come on. Oh no, Phil Foden in our penalty box. But Guardiola defends that incredibly. And now we have a little bit of a room here. Come on. Just uh, take it down into the corner. Look up and see what we can do. Falls to Davis, Martinelli. Rudigoid. Oh, you cannot shoot it there. We are five minutes away from creating history with Arsenal. But it is City on the attack. Rodri. And he's made a huge mistake. And so have we. What is happening, guys? It is still Man City now on the attack here. With Barella. And he's gone past everyone. Crossbar! No! Get it out! What am I seeing? City is so close to the equalizer. And we cannot clear it properly. 90th minute now. Griezmann. Please. Don't let them do anything. And Sandro wins the ball. I'm going to kick that away. Is that it? Is that it, guys? Referee. Blow the whistle. Come on! History has been made. The greatest day in this club's history. It's always going to be remembered, guys. And wow, that is our third trophy. We do the treble. This is unbelievable. I, I still cannot believe it. There we have the trophy on display. And now we have added another huge trophy to our collection, guys. I mean, this is going to give us some motivation as well ahead of that World Cup with Norway. Ødegård, the captain, the Norwegian, he deserves this so much. Come on, lift this trophy, the greatest club trophy in the world. At the Santiago Bernabeu as well. Not a greater place to lift this trophy. Look at the supporters, it means so much to them and I'm happy that we were able to contribute guys to help Arsenal win the greatest of them all and obviously now we're going to be celebrating for a few days and then we obviously have the World Cup as well coming up our season is still not done we have the biggest thing you can win in football to fight for and we're going to be linking up with Holland, Ødegård the boys, but uh, for now, let's just celebrate this UCL trophy, man. Look at the scenes again. Wow, this squad is special. What a team! Ramsdale, Ödegård, Declan Rice, Kokchu is there as well. Stones, I mean, what a team! UEFA Champions League winners, Saka, Martinelli, I mean. Everybody, everybody contributed to this trophy, guys. Even though we got so many goals, you know, I mean, Ramsdale saved us countless times in this one. And, yeah, there it is. It's now in our dressing room and on the way back to London. Thank you very much. And that wraps up season number three. It is time for a big parade. Look at the bus. We've got not one, not two... But three cups. 
What a season for Arsenal! And some of the games we played. We almost got knocked out against Dortmund. We were so close to getting knocked out against Leverkusen. And then we had City in the final. Wow. This is unreal. Next up is the Viral Cup and it just seems like Norway might have the toughest group ever. Wow, we have Argentina and Spain and Ukraine. What even is that group? We're gonna be facing the last champions, the, la the last Viral Cup winners in Argentina and Spain as well. How are we even gonna make it out of the group stages? I have no idea. We have to get into a training session. It actually says that we are a substitute right now, so I do fear that the small injury that we picked up in that Champions League final might have actually, you know, set me back a little bit. So I guess we'll find out, guys. Obviously, we'll, we'll just keep training hard. I'm sure that we're going to come off the bench anyway. But wow, the World Cup is up next, guys. The season is not done. Thank you so much for watching, though. I'll see you in episode 41 tomorrow where we find out what happens in the World Cup.